it's delicious. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Orange Prince Way here today. I am gonna be on my own. Uh, I saw Sika did a video where he showed off his new GX deck, and I thought I could do the same. Uh, now, this is just gonna be a disclaimer. This deck is pretty OP. Okay, and now I know in GX, I lose a lot. And that's because it's scripted. Okay, I'm not terrible with this deck. It's actually really good. Like, a couple of people have said that it is one of the best decks in GX. Uh, and I know I lose to Sika, but to be fair, uh, back then I wasn't that good of a duelist and I didn't know some card effects, but now I do know. And uh, I'll explain you know everything like for example like this card I didn't know the effect of this card but apparently it's really good uh, and these two cards these two cards are really good but I'll go out over each and everything and even if it's like old new because I do have some pretty new cards Ooh, let's move those two together I do have some pretty new cards so let's get into it so we got the Machina Forest I don't really use him too uh, often I kind of use him like here and there but that's because he's like probably the hardest card in my entire deck to probably get out because in order for him to be summoned you need a, a soldier a sniper and a defender all out on the field plus a commander covington and that's kind of hard to have four monsters all at the same time out on the field without getting them destroyed or anything but with my upgraded deck it should be fairly easy i just need to draw them and uh, i'll explain to you how that is fairly easy i pretty much uh let's just say if i have a machina force on the field and i already equipped it with rare gold armor and maybe a gravity blaster meaning that my opponent can only attack the fort the fortress which is really good because the fortress's effect is pretty strong and equipped it with the gravity blaster it makes him even stronger so now with this new upgraded deck, I should be it should be easier for me to uh, get out the force, but I'll explain uh, every here before I move into like combos and stuff. I'm going to explain each and every card first, and then I'm going to explain probably like my favorite combos to go with, and yeah, who knows? Maybe I could find someone to even duel against. Uh, the second card in my deck is Machina Mega Frame. His effect is pretty cool. Pretty much, I can special summon one monster from your hand or deck, except Machina Mega Frame. If you face up Machina Fortress, you control sent to the graveyard. While this card is in your graveyard, you can banish the Machina Fortress from the graveyard. Special summon this card. You can only use one Machina Mega Form effect per turn. So that's pretty cool. So let's just say uh, I have like a fortress in my hand. And I have uh, a fortress in the graveyard with a mega form. I could actually activate the mega form's effect, banishing the fortress in the graveyard, special summoning the mega form, and then uh, what's I call it? Activating his effect and then special summoning the fortress, discarding him to the graveyard. So and then if my fortress is sent to the graveyard, I can just keep on doing that, which is uh, pretty cool. I got two of those guys. And then I also got Barrel Dragon. Now, Barrel Dragon is a new card to the deck. Uh, Barrel Dragon, uh, here, I'm actually gonna move these two guys together because these guys are a combo. So Barrel Dragon and uh, Blowback Dragon, these guys are pretty cool. I haven't used their combo yet, but pretty much uh, their effect is you can target one monster your opponent controls, cost a, twin, a coin three times and destroy it if it uh, at least two of the results are heads, and then uh, this one once per turn, you can target one. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same effect. Yeah, it is. And if you have these two in your uh, hand or uh, on the on the field, with a polymerization, you can actually fusion summon into Gatlin Dragon, uh, which is pretty cool, which is one per, once per turn, you can toss it, coin three times, and destroy as many monsters on the field as possible. But no more than the number of heads so if i draw three heads that's three monsters gone if i draw one head one monster gone two heads yeah you guys get the point and it's that that is one per turn so he's pretty strong and uh i'll show you guys some combos uh which i can even make him 
even stronger. I've never actually been able to uh, special summon into him yet because it's kind of hard because with these two guys I can't really bring them out with the gear frame or with a yeah only with the gear frame or oh wait no or with the gear giant x uh i can't really bring those guys out so i you know that that's kind of hard and then we have the machina fortress this guy's effect is so insane you guys all know the effect or if you don't that's okay i'll explain it to you uh you can discard one machina mo monster whose total love level equal eight or, or more then special summon this card if this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, target one card your opponent controls. Destroy that target. But if it's destroyed by card effect, the target uh, look that target allows you to look at your opponent's hand and discard one card from their hand. So either or, you're discarding a card. And then also we have a Machina Soldier, which pretty much if you control no other monsters, you express a summon Machina uh, monster from your hand to the field. Machina Sniper, Machina, uh, Machina Monsters cannot be attacked except Machina Sniper. So it's pretty much, you know, uh, I guess like a shield from everyone else. And then we have Machina Gear Frame. Machina Gear Frame, uh, pretty much when I normal summon him, I'm allowed to, uh, I'm allowed to add one Machina Monster from my deck to my hand except Machina Gear Frame. Once per turn, you can either target one Machina type you control. Equip this card. Uh, equip this card to that target, or unequip this card and special summon it in face-up attack position. Uh, a monster can only be equipped with one Union monster at a time. If this equipped monster would be destroyed, destroy that card instead. So that's pretty cool. Uh, now I do see some comments saying what is my ace card. That's kind of hard to like. That's kind. Of, that's kind of hard. I'd have to say that maybe a gear frame is honestly my ace card, because like I can do so many things with a gear frame. I can do so many plays. He's just all in all a good card. But also maybe even a fortress, because the fortress, he's super strong, super easy to pull out, and his effects are amazing. Uh, next up we have a defender, which. One flip summon, you add one Commander Covington, which is this guy right here, right beside him, uh, from your deck to your hand. Uh, now, uh, for Commander Covington, I can send one Machina Soldier, one Machina uh, Sniper, and one Machina Defender uh, to the Graveyard Special Summon, one Machina Force from your hand or deck. Uh, so that's how you bring out this guy. And then we have Gear Golem, the Moon Fortress. This is pretty much just for a wall, but it also has effect. Once per turn during your main phase, you can pay 800 life points. This card can attack your opponent directly. Um, that effect isn't really useful unless I use my spell cards to upgrade his attack, because 800 life points isn't really that much. Uh, but then we also have Healing Wave Generator, where once per turn you can select one face up monster you control to gain life points equal to that monster's level times 100 so if it's level 4 that's 400 level 10 a thousand so that's pretty cool uh we have speed droid try i dice this is a new card uh basically he's a tuner monster to uh turner into some people so during your opponent's turn you can banish this card from your graveyard negate the next attack this turn from a monster your opponent controls so that's pretty cool and then we have our Genix Accelerator. Now, I know you guys are like, ooh, Gen like, uh, Genix, they're kind of bad. Um, basically, the only reason why I really added them in, or actually I have two Genix, the only reason why I added these two guys in is because, well, I have Genix Ally Axel and Windmill Genix. I had this guy in my Season 1 deck. I added this guy, uh, and pretty much, I don't know, I had like someone help me out uh, with this uh, and I really like this guy's effect windmill genix his effect is pretty good this card gains 300 attack for each spell and trap card set on the field you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard to select and to select and destroy one set spell or trap card so that's insane Considering the fact that I got a lot of spell cards and a lot of trap cards. Uh, so yeah, 
RG Accelerator, and his effect is when a GNX monster is added from your deck to your hand, and you can reveal that monster to special summon it. So that's pretty cool. And then we have RGX Controller. Uh, he doesn't have an effect, but he is a tuner. And then we have Peacekeeper, who's uh, when uh, on the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard. You can add one Union monster from your deck to your hand once per turn. You can either target one Machina monster you control. Yeah, okay, so yeah, yeah, he's a Union. And then we have this dude, Flare Synchron. Uh, he's a tuner as well. Uh, if this card is sent to a graveyard as a Synchro uh, material monster, you can special summon one level 2 or lower monster from your hand so that's kind of cool uh, and also uh, you guys have seen him before flare synchron in fortress I usually go into vermilion dragon mech so yeah now we also have unknown synchron uh, if your opponent controls a monster and you control no monsters you can special summon this card from your hand each player can only use this effect of unknown synchron once per duel so I don't really use that effect I don't know, because I don't really have a level 6 uh, person for me to go into. Oh, let's just rearrange that. Yeah, I don't really have a level 6 person for me to, uh, like I said, go into, so it's kind of like, it's kind of useless. Eh, I don't know. But yeah, uh, next up, uh, we're going to get into our spells and traps. And we have Polymerization, Fusion Monster, Swords of Healing Light blocks uh, three of your opponent's turns, or battle phases. Monster Reborn, target one monster in either player's graveyard, special summon it. Mystic Space Typhoon, target one spell or trap card on the field, destroy that target. Twin Twisters, discard one card, then target up to two spell or trap cards on the field, destroy them. Burn out the mighty, each face of monster your opponent controls loses 100 attack times its own level. So if it's level four, uh, it's 400 attack minus if it's level 10, it's 1000. You guys get the point. Then we have Clockwork Knight. All face up monsters your opponent controls are treated as Machina type monsters and loses 500 attack. All Machina types you control gain 500 attack. So that's pretty useful. Uh, very gold armor. As long as you control the monster equipped with this card, your opponent cannot attack other monsters other than the equipped monster. That guy's pretty cool. He got, he has a lot of combos. And then we have two gravity blasters. We have, and basically I equipped it to a monster. Uh, you can activate this effect. It permanently gains 400 attack. <coughs> Sorry, um, if you guys can't tell, I'm a little sick. Um, but anyways, if it battles an opponent's monster, that monster's effect is negated during the battle phase. Which is pretty cool. Uh, this attack gain remains even if it leaves the field or the monster becomes unaffected by card effects uh, so yeah that's cool and then we have break draw equipped only to a machina type monster when the equipped monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard draw one card destroy this card during your third end phase after the activation so it's pretty much draw power and then we have two seven completed Activate this card by choosing attack or defense. Equipped only to a Machina type monster, it gains 700 attack or defense depending on your choice. And then we have Storming Mirror Force. Uh, when a monster declares an attack, return all attack position monsters your opponent controls through their hand. Bottomless Trapple. When your opponent summons a monster with 1500 or more attack, destroy that monster with 1500 or more attack, and if you do, banish it. And then we just have a regular mirror force. When your opponent uh, declares an attack, destroy all attack position monster your opponent controls. Uh, dimensional prism. Uh, when an opponent monster declares an attack, target that attacking monster, banish that target. Now, <coughs> oh my gosh, sorry, I'm really sick. Then we have this guy. This guy's pretty cool. Target one monster on the field, return that target to the hand. Uh, now this guy. Here, I'm actually gonna move this guy over here because three these three cards are really good when it comes to trap cards I find like let's just say I'm gonna use Sika's deck for example because everyone says that I always lose to Sika and all that that's because I didn't have these three cards <laughs> I I don't know uh, or I also didn't know how to use some effects let's be real 
But these three cards are really good. Really, really good. Uh, I'll get into those guys later. And then, Scrap Iron Scarecrow, when an opponent declares a direct attack, you basically negate it. Uh, Cyber Shadow. Activate only during your opponent's main phase after activation. Special summon this card. It is treated as an effect monster. Uh, okay, yeah, you guys basically know that. Dark Bride. When, uh, when an opponent's spell or trap card is activated, your opponent draws one card. Also negate the spell or slash trap activation, and if you do, destroy it. Now let's move in to these three cards. These three cards are pretty cool. Solemn Warning. When a monster would be summoned, or when a spell or trap card is activated, it is affected. It is activated. That includes an effect that special summons a monster. Pay 2,000 life points. Negate this summon or activation, and if you do, destroy this card. So let's just say if Sika uh, use Cyber Dragon Infinity, I'm just gonna use uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity because I hate that card so much. Let's just say he attacks me. I use uh, Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Negates it, and if I use Solemn Warning, then. Uh, I could, I think I could like destroy him or something, yeah, uh, or return it to the hand. That's basically what these three cards are for, returning stuff to the hand. And then we have Solemn Strike, when a monster would be special summoned or a monster effect is activated, pay 1,500 life points, negate the summon or activation, and if you do, destroy that card. And then we have this guy, target one monster in the field, return that target to the hand. So that's the main deck, pretty strong, and then we have the extras, I'm just going to skip over the ones that we kind of already know, like, uh, I don't know, a uh, tornado dragon, once per turn, uh, target one spell or trap card on the field, destroy it, this guy, I recently just figured out what his effect was, and it's pretty cool, basically once per turn you can detach one XYZ material from this card, then target one other face up position, uh, on the field. Change it to face down position. This effect can be activated during either player's turn, and if this card has super quantum green layer as XYZ material. Uh, wait, hold on. Oh, super quantum green layer. Monster from X. Uh, once per turn, you tell your one super quantum monster from your hand or field to this card as an XYZ material. Now, I don't really have any Super Quantums in my deck, but let's just say something may happen in the future. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna let you guys interpret that. Okay, okay. Now we have Heavy Armored Train Iron Wolf. This guy, I'm not, like, I'm basically gonna summarize these cards unless I don't know them. Basically, his effect is that I can attack directly by discarding one XYZ material. Pretty much. That that that's pretty much as effective. Gear Giant X, once per turn you can detach one XYZ material from this card. Add one level four or lower Machina type monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. So this is pretty good. I could uh this is basically draw power. Uh number 42 Galaxy Tomac, I don't really use him because his effect is kind of useless. I like Com put comments down below if you know his effect. Really, I don't know it. Like, well, I know it, but I just think it's completely useless. Like, I detach two XYZ material from this card, special summon as many battle eagle tokens as possible, and they all have 2,000 attack. Now that's pretty good because that means that they all have 2,000 attack. You know, that's pretty good attack. Destroy them during the end phase. Also, your opponent takes no further battle damage this turn. So basically, I summon all these guys that will be destroyed in the end phase, and these guys have attack, right? So they're meant for attack, but my opponent can't take no further battle damage this turn. So then, all the tokens, since they're being destroyed this turn, are no longer there. So it's really, like, it's not really useful, I don't know. Like, I don't think there's any use but for, like, defense, because this, uh, this guy has 3,000 defense. But I go into this guy most most often because his effect is really cool, and I like it. Uh, pretty much, I summon two tokens, and I can discard a token to discard any card I want on the field. This card cannot attack during the turn you activate this effect. 
but also it cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. Oh, I know. This card cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects uh, if I control a token. Okay, so that's all the XYZ materials. Now we're gonna get into good, gritty stuff. Uh, basically, I got Power Tool Mech Dragon and Power Tool Dragon. Now, uh, these guys. No, wait, is it these guys? No, it's only Power Tool Dragon. Power Tool Dragon co can go into Lifestream Dragon, which is pretty cool. So, Power Tool Mecha Dragon during your turn when an equipped spell card or cards is equipped into this card you can draw one card you can only use this effect or power to like a dragon once per turn during either player's turn you can target one uh, appropriate face up equip card on the field equip that card to this card that's pretty cool uh, next up we got power tool dragon his effect is also pretty cool uh, I can reveal three equipped spell cards from your deck, then your opponent randomly adds one of them to your hand, and you shuffle the rest back into the deck. If this card would be destroyed, only equipped with an equipped spell cards, you could send one of those cards to the graveyard instead. That's pretty cool. Now we have Gen X, uh, Windmill Gen X. This card gains 300 attack for each spell and trap card set on the field. You can send one card from your hand to the graveyard to select and destroy uh, one set spell or trap card now before I move on powerful dragon he's really cool also I just like to say this because look how many really insane spell cards I got that do a lot of damage I got gravity blaster I got clockwork knight I got burn of mighty I got break draw I got like all seven pleated and all these cards do insane damage. Rare gold armor. They either gain uh, attack points or they're just really good. And then Life Stream Dragon. This is kind of like if I'm in panic mode. <laughs> Basically, when this card is synchro summon, you can make your life points become 4,000. You take no effect damage. Uh, if this face up card on the field would be destroyed, you can banish one equip speller. Uh, spell card from your graveyard instead so pretty much like let's just say if I'm about to lose a duel and I have like 500 life points I can normal summon this guy and make my life points become 4,000 so he's pretty cool uh, and then I have Gen X Ali Axel once per turn you can discard one card to select one level or, uh, one or four wait or yeah I can't read to select one level 4 or lower Machina type monster from your graveyard and special summon it, the attack of the monster is doubled until the end phase, but it cannot attack your opponent directly. Remove that monster from play during your end phase. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then Cloud Castle. Uh, this card's kinda useful. Kinda. Like, I don't really go into him right away. He's more defense. When this card is synchro summon, you can target one level 9. Uh, in your graveyard special summon that target level 8 or lower monsters cannot attack this turn they are cannot attack the turn they are normal or special summon so let's just say if I got Vermilion Dragon Mech in the graveyard I could synchro summon into this guy and bring back my Vermilion Dragon Mech and Vermilion Dragon Mech's hand once per turn you can banish one tuner from your hand field or graveyard then target one card on the field destroy it if this synchro summon card is destroyed by card effect or sent and sent to the graveyard, you can target one of the banished tuners, add it to your hand. Uh, and I think we already went over Gatlin Dragon. Okay, this is a pretty long video <laughs> about me rambling on about my deck. Um, so I'm not going to show you guys the combos, but please uh, let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, you know, there's so much stuff that we can do, but I don't know what to do first. Like for example, I kind of wanted to make a video explaining what my top, what my top ten decks are. Maybe do a, a deck duel with certain decks. Uh, yeah, please let me guys know. Uh, but anyways, hopefully you guys like this video, and hopefully this you know proved to you guys that my deck isn't weak and I'm not a bad duelist. You know, I'm I'm a good duelist. It's just it's scripted, okay? But yeah, anyways, so I guess I'll uh, talk to you guys. 
uh, tomorrow because I post daily and peace.